Billboard has released uh, a chart or a list of most viewed musicians across Africa. And in Ghana, you happen to be number four uh, on the list of five artists whose songs are most viewed on YouTube. What really does this mean to you? Uh, it's, it means a lot. It's um, it's just an indication of how the work we're doing is being appreciated. It's just a way to basically um, measure the impact of what we do because you usually don't sit down to check these things. Once in a while, you might look at analytics, but um, basically you don't know what's happening in other people's camps and all that. So uh-huh. wake up in the morning and uh, just be given that. It's a beautiful thing. Like I'm icing on the cake, to be honest. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, and... Uh... You happen to be the only gospel artist uh, in the top five in, in that list. Are you satisfied as a gospel musician in Ghana? Are you satisfied with the fact that there is only one gospel artist represented in that list? Um, the, the work, the Bible says the work is, is more, and the harvest is more, but the work is a few. God is always looking for more. It would be nice to have a lot more people in there, to be honest. Uh-huh. And so we're praying that we all keep working. Yeah. Uh-huh. As a gospel artist, what are some of the things you do to grow your audience online? What are some of the things that you particularly have put in place to make sure that your online presence becomes more visible to people across the world? Right. Um, I don't think I sat down to strategize on on what to do, but I think it's just uh, maybe my personality in the team. Um, when I say personality, I, I I try to get close to the people who take interest in in my ministry. Uh-huh. And so if there's somebody who I see comments a lot on my messages or um, anything I put out, I try to get to know the person. And I think when they, they get to know you, they get to know that you're a human being like you are. And um, then they then begin to relate with you more. So I, I have a lot of personal relationship with uh-huh. people that I call family. Okay. Um, and, and, I, and I call them family. But the, uh, okay. So I don't think I, sh- I uh-huh. sat down to strategize, but it's just oh, okay. to appreciate the people that follow and take an interest in that. Okay. Um, there, there have been a lot of discussions about gospel musicians, especially in Ghana, and how they go about promoting their works uh, for people to, to get to know them the world over. And so there have been discussions about the fact that gospel musicians generally thrive so much on, let's say, the ministry aspect and not putting in so much when it comes to marketing. Uh, do you subscribe to this notion? Do you think that gospel musicians in Ghana are so much concerned about just the ministry aspect of, of the whole thing, uh, relegating to the background, the business or the marketing aspect of it? Okay, so uh, like I said, I think the first question you asked, I'm like, I don't check what happens in other people's camps and so I, I, I it'll be it'll be difficult to um speak for them. It'd be, it'd be difficult to tell what what's what's happening there. But I think um I for me uh-huh. I, I, I concentrate as a person on ministry but then I also have a team that then begin to work on the industry. Okay. Um, if, um, so to say oh, okay. I, it, 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 it relieves it relieves me, it gives me the chance to um concentrate on ministry and not worry about everything else that comes with it if you get, if you get what I mean.